I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. All right, little childs, welcome yeah. back. <laughs> What's up, tiny, tiny chillins? I'm gonna get this fucking item right here. So, if you remember on the last episode, I killed the worm. Literally has nothing to do with what I'm about to do, but... Right. Oh, but I killed the worm with the crossbow, right? Yes. So, now, I'm going on a mission... To kill the to guy with the crossbow? kill the crossbow. Yeah, so it kind of has everything to do with what you just did. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, kind of, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Are there any friends that can help me here? Is the crossbow guy that hard? Uh, well, this part of the dungeon's kind of difficult. Mm. Well, all right then. The answer is no. You have no friends. <sighs> Aaron, all your friend is here. Yay! And me, it's myself, you. and I. Yeah. Oh, that's... They say dogs are a man's best friend, but I'd say himself is his best friend because himself can listen to him when he's sad and comfort him when he's lonely and jack him off once a day. Yeah. Okay, so these guys are assholes. <laughs> Which guys? These ah, these guys. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Look at them! Giant bird mages. With, Is that what they are? Butcher knives. They fucking suck, because they- Oh my god! They have four arms, so they, uh... Four arms to hold you with. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. What if they use those four arms what, for what hugs? Am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? I should have rested at the bonfire. Aaron, we all have four arms. <laughs> god damn it, Dan! <laughs> What? I'm trying to fucking play a video game here, and you're making gags like it's <laughs> just a loopy loo! Some, some kind of show where we say entertaining shit over video games. No! Dick move on my part. Dick move! Yep. Please, dick move. <laughs> Get out of the way, dick! Richard! What are you doing? Move! Whoa. This oh. motherfucker. Yo, yo. Chill. Chill. F Whoa, did he just kill me?! Mm-hmm. Ooh! Yeah, he has joined a very, uh, very uh, exclusive club of everything in this game. <laughs> of things that have killed me. I wonder if there's an enemy in this game that has not killed me. I can't think of one offhand. I bet there's a bunch. Maybe some of the, like, the slow-moving shit in the swamp. You're a swamp. I don't- I don't think you- well, maybe you did die from the slugs. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, cause I the think The slugs have definitely killed me in my home game. Yeah, I think you fell in, off a ladder. And like there were just a bunch of slugs Fuck waiting off, for you. You fucking prick. You dingleberry. You fucking dick. I mean, these bird guys haven't killed you. you. You've only encountered them for 15 seconds. Oh. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Ooh, you think got, you're so fucking clever. They got rat tails, too. These things are crazy. They make a looking. silly noise when they summon their, their fire. But when I kill the fire, or when I kill them, the fire goes away. They've got like wolfy bird arms. Yeah, it fucking sucks, right? They're like were birds. Mm-hmm. Like, where's the bird at? Yeah, I'll tell you. Or a were. Right in front of me. Yeah. All Killing the places. Me. Look at this fucking guy. He thinks he's so cool just lying on the ground getting some sleep. I don't think he thinks he's cool. In a cool position. <laughs> he's in like a drop kick position. Mm -hmm. Look, he's like a goat man. And you never fight him either. You never fight one of the goat men's. Is that right? Yeah. Hey, fuck you. That's too bad. Do you, do you fight them in other Dark Souls games? I don't know. Maybe You've played all the Dark Souls games. I fucking- well, it's been a long time. Alright, alright. I don't remember. It looks like a character in Doom. <sighs> Should we play Doom? Uh, yeah- FUCK! Ah, it's Charlie! Charlie? Was I alive and I could have escaped and I, I think just so. died? It sounded like it. But I was poisoned, so I would have died anyway. What were you yelling at Charlie for? And who is that? I was just looking for new ways to exclaim something to the heavens. Oh. I thought you were like... Like using like, um... Military. Like, Foxtrot, Undercut, Charlie, Kilo. Undercut? I thought it was Upsilon. Upsilon, yeah, that's it. But whatever it, spells fuck. Is it Upsilon or is- Oh, I think it's Umbrella, actually. Oh, well. Well then. Because Upsilon sounds too much like Epsilon, which is E. You're absolutely right. Don't fucking sing at me. Yeah, got you right in the booty! Fucking bird-ass booty! Well, Umbrella sounds too much like Lumberlella, that- that Rihanna song. There's this now Rihanna song called Lumberlella? I'm pretty sure. Under my Lumberlella. Under my Lumberlella! Ip, 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 <laughs> ip. No, but she- uh, Actually, I stand corrected. The- the thing she calls it is a Lumberlella. Eh, 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 eh. No, no, no. You actually got the lyrics wrong again. Did I? Did I? It's- uh, it's Lumberlella, eh, eh. Aya, Aya, Aya. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She is a wordsmith. She is. Did you check out Lemonade? Uh, I believe that's Beyonce. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and no, I did not check it out yet. How's your day? <laughs> Other than that, I know uh, she refers to a girl as Becky with the good hair, but I don't know what that means. I don't know Ooh. why people are Ooh. upset about it. Why are people upset about it? I don't know. I just, I mean, this, what was the sentence I just said? <laughs> My god. <laughs> well, I mean, you might know, like, the sort of story behind it or whatever. I... Where it's like, people are upset and they s claim that it's, God damn, these guys are fucking diff! Oh, dude. Like, people are like, oh, well, it's a, it's a statement against uh, the rights of popcorn or something. That is correct. That is probably Because it problem. sounds too much like caramel corn. That's, that's wrong. A caramel corn's a popcorn, too. Becky with the good hair sounds too much like... Caramel corn? Well, I'm- I don't know what the argument is, I was asking you! Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'll try to be more clear in the future. Jesus. Always judging me. <laughs> Always making me feel like a dummy dingus. Oh, no, wait, I think I do know what it was. What was it, then? I think- I think it had some- I'm not really interested. <sighs> no, what was it? Well, it, it had something to do with whether or not does Bruno Mars is gay. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, that's from our Ocarina playthrough, so uh, some people might not know what we're crossover. talking about. Dude, yeah. you're doing, you're doing, uh, what's it called? A, a cross-sell. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're- See, if you'd been watching our Ocarina playthrough, you'd, you'd know. Yeah, but, uh... You'd know the truth of does Bruno Mars is gay. Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> the answer is... Who? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> the answer was like three paragraphs of nonsense. Yeah, yeah of a total gibberish. I think Becky was, uh, like... Someone she was accusing Jay Z, her husband, of sleeping with, um, oh. and and then there was some kind of controversy because it was like, does Becky is it like Becky something you call a white girl, and then Iggy Azalea was like, don't call me a Becky because my name is Iggy and that's a dumb name. I'm not. That's I'm messing this up. It sounds like you know it pretty well. No, I I, I heard about it once and uh, I'm trying to recount facts and like make up other shit. It's one of those, uh, you know, it's one of those, uh, controversies that just sticks in your head. You know, the first time you hear it, you just, uh, you just can't help but hum it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because <laughs> you knew it really well, and you were like, Did I? I, I only heard it once, and then you're just like... <coughs> well, because I listen. I care. When I hear and read things, I remember them. When people tell me their names, I fucking know it. Like you, for instance. Uh, uh, uh... It's, Sharon? Is it Sharon? I don't even remember, honestly, myself either. Yeah. Uh, you know what I have started doing, actually, that really helps? Remembering names? Yeah, well, I write them down in my phone. When someone tells me their name, I'm like, Oh, that guy's, uh, Charlie, and he works at Le Pain Quotidien, or something. And Why would you need to remember the Charlie that works at Le Pain Quotidien? Because I fucking enjoy their eggs for breakfast, and I'm there all the time. And that dude... You go to a place to get egg... Come to my house, I'll make you fuck... I make eggs every morning. I don't... Your place is farther than that place is. It won't be for long. Oh, that's true. Just come to fucking... Le Pain de Cote de... It's like $18 eggs! Yeah, well... First of all, that's not true. <laughs> Second of all, they're wonderful. They're delicious. What do they do to them? I don't know. But I know... I know that- I What's know so good about their fucking eggs? Ah, oh, shit, I'm about to die. <laughs> <sighs> well, at least you were talking about something really important at the time. What makes their eggs so good? <laughs> 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 Why does this have to be my swan song? <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, what makes their eggs so good, Dan? You never answered. They're light and they're fluffy and they taste good and they go well with the condiments that they also give and they give you a little piece of bread and their orange juice is delicious. Wait, so you literally just get eggs? Wow, I'm, I, I'm really not 100% in love with your tone right now. If you- I, I will give you free eggs every morning if you come over and let me make you breakfast. Really? Yes, my eggs are delightful. Have you ever had them? I never have, nor did I know that was a standing offer. Like, you, you act like it's the coolest thing in the world to just be, like, show up at your friend's house and be like, So where are those eggs? <laughs> like, yeah! You're gonna make them for me. Oh my god. I didn't know that was an option. I can't believe you've never had my eggs! Uh, let, first of all, it's- that's a weird thing to say out of context. My eggs are outstanding. Alright. I cool. fuck, do you like them scrambled? I like them fertilized. That's a zygote. <laughs> That's not an egg anymore. 
Oh, well then. It's called a zygote. I learned something today. And if something is of a zygotic nature, <laughs> it is zygotinous. <laughs> it's not. That's not true, Even is though it? I used zygotic as the same word. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's like an example of the zygote going crazy, it's a zygosis. <laughs> zygosis. I learned this from that crazy movie, Zyko. <laughs> Where the dude Ooh. cooks all those eggs in the shower. <laughs> Damn, dude. Well, he cooks the zygotes. Yeah. Did you know you can see if an egg is fertilized or not? Whoa, how? Shit, I gotta get the fuck out of here. No, 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 no! Whoa. Oh, that was so fucking close. Damn, Holy those things... Shit. When they gang up on you, it's really... Well, they don't hurt you at all. They just spray their cursed juice on That's you. That's what I'm saying. There's, when, there's a lot of juice Oof. in the air. Tonight. Um, okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can feel the juice coming in the air. To all right. So, here's how you find out if an egg is fertilized or not. Will I remember, remember? Oh, shit. It oh, shit. Juicy, no. God juicy, juicy, juicy. Fucking God damn it. The way that you know if an egg is fertilized is if when you crack it and it comes out, there's a little red dot in it. Ew. If there's a little red dot in it, that means that it was beginning to turn into a chicken. A chicken? Yeah. Yuck. But if it's- which it usually is not fertilized. I'd say like, every one out of 50 eggs I crack is a fertilized egg. I would feel terrible. Well, what are you gonna do? Fucking nurse it back to health? Yeah. I would- I would put it under my butt and I would raise it as my own. They just take eggs out of the chicken coop, and that's it. They, they don't like fucking shake them to see if. Yeah, but if it was fer if it was fertilized, then it can grow into a chicken. And then after nine months, I'll crack it on the end of a pan and pour out a chicken. <laughs> I fucking know how nature works, bro. I save animals all the time. Look, you can eat it before it has a full life or after it has a full life. It doesn't matter. Just eat it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will. Good. It's delicious. Fine. I'll raise that chicken as if it were my own daughter that I turn into chicken fingers. Mmm, <laughs> chicken fingers. Mmm, chicky fingers. Somebody sent me a tweet that was like, dude, check it out. I got the chicken crispers from Chili's and they got the wrong chicken crispers. It's crazy talk. And I was like, no! And, you know, and his name on Twitter was like a chicken tender guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like he was like a connoisseur of chickens. No, Shout out to chicken tender guy. Yeah, much respect. I just realized I've been a vegetarian for the past three days. What? Not intentionally. But you said you ate eggs. Yeah, vegetarian. Not not a vegan. Eggs are- what? It comes from an animal. That's vegan. Vegetarian just means you don't eat the animal itself. Oh. Vegan means you don't eat the animal or anything that comes from the animal. Shit. shit oh, you're- shit, you're- shit, oh, shit, get oh, the hell away from cool, them. cool, dude. It's fine. God, there's so many of them. Some vegans, like- who are like super into it will like not wear like leather shoes and like uh you know what if your name was Tegan then you'd be vegan Tegan I died <laughs> what a shame right in the middle of your most important point of all time <laughs> what if your last name was Regan so you'd be <laughs> vegan, vegan Tegan, Tegan the Regan. Regan no vegan Regan the Tegan vegan. no vegan no Tegan Regan the vegan Tegan of Regan wow that was confusing Next time on Game Grumps. Next time on Game Grumps. Oh, man. Ah, it's just Good for everyone with all your life choices. Nah, I got it. I just you. gotta you. know what? I'm gonna kill these guys and then next time on Game Grumps. Are you sure about that? Yeah, no, it'll be easy. I don't think it's gonna be easy. It'll be super fucking easy, dude. Just oh. trust me. Ow, what? Uh, <laughs> I'm already half dead. Look, trust me. Okay. It'll be fine. Fireball's coming at me like nothing. It that don't mean anything to me. I'm gonna go ahead and Darling. place a small bet with myself. Alright. What's your bet? Yeah. Do you want me to say it out loud? Yeah, I mean, I'm not betting with you. Okay, you're not gonna live. Uh, what are you betting? Like, 30 bucks? I fell into lava. Actually, I was betting $800 from you, so... What a time to be alive. <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps. Pay up, bitch! I will be less rich. Yeah. $800, specifically. Uh, I'm gonna spend money. it on drugs!